According to World Health Organization, 50% of cancer diseases can be prevented if people adhere to the cautions of Ministry of Health, especially avoiding risk factors of all non-communicable diseases. According to the World Health Organization, up to 50% of cancers can be prevented just by avoiding or at least reducing exposure to the risks some of them that we have just highlighted, you can't prevent. Incidentally, avoiding the four commonest risk factors of cancer, including cigarette smoking, and I am glad that all of you here in the room did not even smoke last night, Please try your best not to smoke again. During the official opening of the second Africa Test and Treat Cancer and other NCDs conference in Kampala, Health Minister Dr. Jane Ruth Acheng mentioned that Ministry of Health is striving to strengthen laboratory services to ensure cancer quality screening, strengthening and Uganda Cancer Institute and Uganda Heart Institute by establishing different centers in different regions of Uganda, among others. We are striving to strengthen laboratory services at all levels of health service delivery to ensure quality cancer screening and provision of laboratory services for all non-communicable diseases. She adds that the ministry also plans to ensure mandatory screening in future and are striving to ensure that it's free of charge, citing need to strengthen community health capacity by ensuring that community health workers get much involved in prevention measures of non-communicable diseases across the country. We are strengthening UCI and Uganda Heart Institute for effective treatment of cancer and heart diseases. In this, we are trying our best to ensure that there are centers for cancer and heart at all the regions in Uganda. We want to see at one point that our, our uh, community extension workers can go house to house, take blood pressure, take the, the blood sugar, and do early detection of those, some of those that can be treated, but also help to link the people to the screening centers. Dr. Diana Atwine, Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Health, says that it's everybody's responsibility to address the burden of cancer through awareness campaigns, especially on risk factors. The process of, of managing cancer lies on individual responsibility so that everyone can contribute to closing the gap of care. It is not those in power alone. It is not you against the no, it is all of us. Dr. Atwine revealed need to embrace point of care screening by ensuring enhanced technology, hence reducing time of getting results and treatment. The other aspect is integration of services. Integration of services. We still don't have sufficient resources to do vertical verticalization. Dr. Jackson Oriem, Executive Director, Uganda Cancer Institute, advised that some NCDs can be prevented through vaccination. Uh, for the, the girls, you can go for um, uh, what? Uh, for vaccination for uh, human papilloma virus. Uh, for all the children, they can be vaccinated for hepatitis, for instance. So that those are things which we can do. But currently, we are not doing enough. I'm not, I'm not saying we are not doing, but we are not doing enough. Dr. Oriam further noted that there are still limited resources needed to address the burden of non-communicable diseases in Uganda. I think, of course, generally, as you saw, the risk factors that I presented, where there are those factors which are related to age and uh, genetic, there's not much you can do about it. And then there are those risk factors related to uh, infection, constituting about 42%. And then there are those risk factors that are lifestyle related. That one, there's a lot you can do about it. For instance, smoking, you can stop smoking. Dr. Isaac Sevunya from Uganda Heart Institute, on behalf of Dr. Omangino John, Executive Director, advised Ugandans to ensure regular screening, especially blood pressure and hypertension, to avoid heart failure quite a number of times it's without symptoms 
uh, and that's why we sometimes emphasize the, the fact of screening, routine checks, uh, like you had the minister say, at the end opportunity you get to go to the hospital, don't leave without them checking your numbers, checking your sugar, because those risk factors, uh, somebody is big, obesity, they, they can predispose. So early detection is what we usually emphasize. Chairperson Health Committee of Parliament, Dr. Charles Ayume and Dr. Nicholas Kamara, Chair Parliamentary Forum on NCDs, reveals the need for Ministry of Finance prioritizing funding NCDs because they are major killer diseases. For this session, the University Parliament, we have so far amended the public health act. We amended it, but important to note is that this uh, law had not been amended for the last 70 years. But also that the old law had no single sentence about no non-communicable diseases. And together with the ministry and the committee on health, we were able to add non-communicable diseases in the public health act. The debates go on very smoothly until the time for slicing the cake. We do not usually get what we have set out to achieve, and it usually goes to unfunded priority. So I must say, your minister, the ministry, will do their part. The health committee does its part. Parliament does its part. The issue is now with the Ministry of Finance. Okay.